Looking up at the night sky, we can clearly count the number of moons that the Earth has. One. But has this always been the case? And are there other potential moons existing around the Earth now? When speaking of a secondary moon of the Earth, we are looking to see if there are any other natural satellites in orbit around the Earth. This means that artificial satellites such as human-launched spacecraft, ejected boosters, space debris, and space-based art projects do not count. This means that several artificial objects currently in orbit around the Earth can lead to some confusion about secondary moons. The case of 6Q0B44E is a good example of this. It is an artificial object just a few meters across and orbits the Earth beyond the moon's orbit. It shares similarities with discarded rocket boosters, but no space mission has been linked to it so far. So what natural satellites could be potential second moons? To start, there are several natural objects which could appear as natural satellites, which in fact are not. These include the Earth Trojans, a hypothetical group of asteroids which reside in Earth's Lagrange points, a set of locations which can maintain their position due to several factors including gravity, Coriolis acceleration, and centripetal forces. Some planets have thousands of these Trojans. Jupiter has 7,040 known Trojans. On the other hand, only one Earth Trojan has been discovered so far. Going by the name 2010 TK7, it is roughly 150 to 500 meters in diameter and orbits in the L4 and L3 Lagrange points of the Earth. So, while the object is in a loop-shaped orbit, it does not orbit the Earth, but rather the Sun, and this definitively makes it not a second moon of the Earth. Moving on from these, a recent discovery has found two natural bodies orbiting the Earth at the same distance from the Moon, with a diameter of 104,000 kilometers. However, these two satellites are not solid. They are known as Kordelewski clouds. First proposed by Kazimierz Kordelewski, in 1956. Their existence was only confirmed in October of last year. The reason why they have been so hard to find is because despite their huge size, they are only made up of dust trapped in Lagrange points, so they are extremely dim and once again not truly orbiting the Earth. But all these objects are not truly orbiting the Earth, so have any secondary natural satellites come to orbit around the Earth? In actuality, yes. Actual temporary moons do exist such as 2006 RH120. This asteroid is just 2 to 3 meters in diameter and makes a close Earth approach every 20 years. However, 2006 RH120's latest orbit only lasted for just over a year and given its tiny size, it does not serve as a proper secondary moon. So of all these quasi-satellites, dust clouds and temporary moons, did we ever have an impressive huge secondary moon? Possibly. Evidence for one may come from the moon itself when looking at the Maria on the Moon, which is the darker areas visible from Earth, scientists have found that the crust here is only half as thick as other areas on the Moon, such as the dark side of the Moon. One hypothesis for this is that the collision between the Earth and a hypothetical Mars-sized planet called Theia 4.5 billion years ago. Theia was an Earth Trojan that collided with the Earth and formed the Moon. A secondary moon may have formed, however, 1,000 kilometers in diameter and struck the moon just a few million years later to form the giant Maria regions on the moon. This means that for a brief geological period, any observer from the ground on Earth would have seen two moons in our sky. So, to answer the question, do we have two moons? The answer is straightforward with a few caveats. We have one moon, which may have the remains of our second moon on the visible side. And several cosmic clouds and temporary satellites do blur our definition from time to time. So, until next time, thanks for watching.